What's up guys, Sam Man back and today we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Spawn, Medieval Spawn. I've actually had this for a while and forgot to review it. Um, I did get this from BigBadToyStore.com. Guys, use the link in the description down for Big Bad Toy Store. Also, there is an exclusive Spawn on the, on the Throne that's available at Entertainment Earth on pre-order right now. It's an SDC exclusive. It's a sketch version. I'll show the image on there. I'll put the links for Big Bad and Entertainment Earth. If you guys order from Entertainment Earth, you guys use my link, you save some cash. All right, guys, so back to the figure. Do you guys remember when they originally teased, when McFarlane teased us on a Medieval Spawn Kickstarter? I don't know what happened with that. Do you guys know? Do you guys have any information on that? Let me know down below. Other than that, I mean, this is what we're getting now. We have the McFarlane Toys Spawn, Medieval Spawn, not in Kickstarter form, but it's still cool to have one. I would have loved to have gotten a Kickstarter version because you know it would have been way more detailed and have, and the accessories wouldn't it be like a soft rubber and the chains wouldn't be plastic, which I'm sure this obviously is, but still still cool, guys. Enough, enough ranting. Let's uh, take a look at the box. So your standard McFarlane Spawn figure packaging. I love the artwork on the back. That looks so freaking sick. I love Medieval Spawn. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open this up and let's see if this guy right here is going to be a pickup or a pass. Okay, taking a look at the accessories that you get. First off, your standard multiverse spawn circular black base. You also get a sword, which looks pretty cool. It's got some detailing on it. It does have some writing on there. I honestly cannot see what that says on the viewfinder. And then same thing on the opposite side. The, uh, the handle itself looks cool and the blade itself looks cool, but again, soft rubber material. If they, if they would have made this like a metal, you know, the kick, you know, Kickstarter would have totally done a better job on this. Uh, and then you have like a mallet and it has a spike on the end and on the top of it. And this is again, oh, you got the logo right there. The wait, no, this is sharp. This is actually really sharp though. That's pretty cool. Uh, it does look great again, but you got soft rubber handles. Does this bother anybody? Let me know in the comments down below if the rubber weapons do bother you. Let me know. Um, overall, it still looks great. I think it, I think like the handle maybe should have used a little bit of uh, coloring on it, but I like that it is hard plastic for the spikes. So you got that. And now let's bring out Medieval Spawn. I like the look on this guy. Look at him. You have his mask, which looks fantastic. Soft rubber here. You got the green eyes. The detail looks so good on his helmet. And then you come on the back right here. Again, you can see some more detailing and sculpting on the back of his helmet. He's got some big shoulder pads here with spikes and these are soft material and some really cool little designs there on the shoulder pad. And it looks like it's in layers too. So you can see there's like different layers of the armor. And then same thing with this one here. This one has a face, like a skull face or kind of like a spawn logo on the other side of the shoulder pad. And again, it is layered. And then he's got like a, looks like a metallic burgundy color. And you, you can see some, some sculpting on that too. You can see it on the other side as well. Let me see if how close I can get this, but it looks really good. I would have liked that the whole armor was like this, this metallic paint. Coming to the front of the outfit, you have again, really nice sculpting in the outfit. All this is sculpted and there is designs throughout the entire outfit. You guys have to really see this in person. Like even the areas that are painted black, there's, there's designs in that. Let's come to the back. You can see some like up, look at the upper back. See all that sculpting there? And he's got skulls that are holding the cape and the cape itself has some texture to it too. Let's see what the underside of the cape looks like. There's that. And then the back of him, again, very nice. There's a skull and the chain, the loincloth. I think this is this right here is considered a loincloth. It's got like a metallic gold color. Again, look at that. All this nice little design within it. Let's see, you got some spikes here. There's the chains. I, I, this just really throws me off on Spawn figures because you guys know growing up, at least for like the art series figures or the comic cover series, he used actual metal chains. But and you know, what it is what it is, I guess. And then you got some more spikes here. Again, the awesome designs and the outfit. The skull does look good though. And the chains and then, yeah, this is really nice. Come to the, the arms. You got the gauntlet with the spikes. Does this have some designs on it? It does. He's got a closed, no, this one's not a closed fist. I guess you can hold stuff on both hands. 
And then we come to this one. He's got like a uh, another gauntlet with some spikes on that. And then this one also is going to be able to hold. You guys, I guess you can hold both weapons on both hands. And then you come to the legs. And he's got this huge metal spike for the right leg, like this boot or armor. And the knee pad has a skull. This one here has another skull on it too. Like his whole lower leg here is just pretty much armor. So I, I, I like it. You come to the back right here and you can see again some more designs on the pants. And you have his boots here at the bottom and those are sculpted as well. I think it's a great figure overall. I'm really liking it, you know, the design on this medieval spawn. Now let's go ahead and see what his articulation's like. So the arms do go in and out, forward and back. Uh, he's got double jointed elbows. You have upper arm rotation. Oh, if, when you rotate his arm, you can actually see more of this right here. And then the hand does rotate. It's got a hinge as well. For the torso, he's got upper torso rotation, upper ab crunch, two points of articulation in the waist area. The legs do go in and out. But, you know, that's the reason why they use soft rubber too for articulation. Um, forward and back, double jointed knees. See on this one as well. And you can see some more layering underneath the loincloth. There you have it guys, there's my quick little review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Medieval Spawn action figure. This is the first Medieval Spawn in the, the new line, I guess you can say, from McFarlane Toys with uh, all the super articulation that we, ha we have nowadays. So this is the 2023 version of Medieval Spawn. So let me know guys, your thoughts. Do you prefer the soft rubber material over the hard plastic? I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna want the metal chains and all that stuff, but you know, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure because of prices and everything, that's why it's, it is how it is. But I, I would like the spikes to be uh, a little hard, like a hard plastic. And then the the boots down here, like the, the spikes and everything, I wish they would have been more weathered. That's the only thing too. I wish you would have added better paint. But let me know if it bugs you that, you know, he, it's it's the soft rubber material or do you prefer the non articulated figures because he can do more detailing on them i don't I, you just let me know your thoughts down below other than that i do love this figure you guys know i'm a big spawn fan i'm a big mcfarland fan so he is going to go in the detoff with all my other spawn figures um unfortunately i don't have any of my medieval spawn out to do a comparison i'm still trying to make room for a lot of the uh, the spawn figures in some new cases that I just picked up. So eventually I'll do a spawn collection video, but let me know your thoughts down below guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon. Actually, let me know what figure you wanna see him next, you know, make next. Let me know down below. We'll see you soon guys, later.